what's going on folks welcome to 2024 and the very first video of it and you're going to love this one folks i get notifications from nasa jpl of different things that they're doing whether it's photos of mars of the next uh lift off to the iss um whatever it may be right so when they send this video of at least i think there's 10 panoramas when i saw these photos i had to jump on it and what you're going to see is nothing less than spectacular. I love the idea of this because it's one thing to be on the ground with the rovers and seeing photos, which is awesome to do. But when you see a satellite photo, and this particular photos were taken from 250 miles above the Martian surface, it's just awesome. But they're not that great. Let's just jump into this and let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, you can see it right here, folks. It is NASA Science Mars Exploration. You can see Odyssey's Themis views the horizon of Mars. And you can see right here is Thermal Emission Imaging System, or Themis, right, camera. All right, so when you see this photo, you can see it's got some pretty darn decent detail, right? And this is the one they say it's in black and white, but they put the three colors over it to kind of, I guess, accent it or whatever. But they were trying to see the difference, like where the ice crystals are, and of course the dust, right? And you can see that just over the Martian surface. Okay, so when I seen this, I'm like, okay, so where's the quality here? We can go back to around, I think it's right around here. You see Utopia Planitia, and if you watch my good friend Jean Ward's channel, he talks about Utopia Planitia quite a bit, and he's looking straight down. What I'm about to show you is or confirms basically his work but it's just wild to see it but then you look at it and you go how can you see anything in this well that's the key that's what they're hoping you won't see anything in here it looks like a moon photo that they've washed out it's what it looks like to me so we got this one here you got nila sirtis menza and of course we have nili fosse now when i saw this one alone it definitely heightened my curiosity now, there's one thing that actually interests me big time, and it's right here in the middle. Right there, you can see what it looks like. It almost looks rectangular, right? So what I do is I, I took two screenshots of this video and combined it to make one big panorama. Now, these are already pans, but I made them like two of them together and made it even larger. Let's just jump right into Photoshop, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, folks, like I said, make sure you have out your magnifiers, eyepieces, whatever it is you use, you're going to love this. This is absolutely awesome. Okay. Nilicertus Menza. Okay, when you see this, and this is the piece I was telling you about right there. I'm going to zoom in real quick. Have a closer look. And this one's really hard to see, but you can see it's doing this. I'm going to do this freehand, so it's not going to be exactly the way I want it, but you'll get the idea. It's got some decent detail in there, right? This one, Anili Fosse area. This is, again, what caught my eye. And, of course, we have this one, which does not have this. Okay, so let's enhance each of these. Okay, right off the bat, to me, does not look natural in any of this. And, again, folks, like I said before, just pause this any way you like. The bottom here. Let's keep going with it. Put it in black and white. So the colors don't mess with our eyes. I'm going to just zoom in just a hair bit more. And folks, just this area alone. Right here. That to me is crazy. When you look at it, this here, again, we can see this actual height to this, but when you do this, a whole lot more comes out of it. That area right there. Now, if you go to the left here, have a look at this area. This is really cool. You can see what looks like structures. And again, we have height to it. You got these items here. This larger one here. Again, look at the shape of this thing. And you can tell that these right here are part of this. Get these out of there. See this? Look at the shape of this, folks. It looks like it does this. Comes down, does this, goes back in, goes like that. You can see that what look like structures. Right here to the right. Go to the next one. 
Okay, we're going to start enhancing it. Okay, notice how we have some graininess. We're going to take that out with a slight blur. But let's start getting more detail. And notice how you're getting this purplish kind of thing going on. Folks, that's manipulation that you're going through. So this is the problem. We have two things going on. One, it took basically screenshots of a video. Now, the video wasn't moving, so I got it as clean as I could. But we're also dealing with an overlay, manipulation, trying to wash it out, right? Okay, I'll keep going. A little bit of blur. You can see the difference right there to right there. Just these objects alone, folks. Look at this right in here. Look at these little squares and these little pieces right here. Okay, here. And that's not even fully enhancing this yet, folks. Here. Look at this object right here. I'm not even sure what that even is. Yeah, on top of that. Okay, keep going. Okay. Make it black and white. Color don't fool our eyes. Basically, the full enhancement right here. Now, I have gone a little further and tried to rework it. And you can see that. Again, folks, pause it anywhere. You can see this a little bit better. It looks a little flatter on this piece right here compared to this one. It's probably because it's darker, so it looks like it's higher, and maybe not. But you can see that. Okay. That's pretty cool. A lot of interesting things, like this right here. This area. Now, take note of this area right here. Notice this little piece goes across. Looks like something's doing this. It's going in the dark area right here as well as the light. And you can see that. You can still see it right there. See that? Full enhanced right there. Now, this is another cool one. Again, we're talking about Utopia Planitia. Okay. Let's start enhancing that. So we've got some lines coming in. This blew my mind because there was so much of it in here. It almost looks like a, a city that's completely congested, right? What I thought was interesting is this lower right corner right here. I'm going to do a full enhancement. Now, folks, check this out. This, to me... Is just cool. We have what looks like structures right here. Check out all of the bottom area here. Every little nook and cranny down in the bottom here, right? And even all of these, they look like everything's congested together. But even if we were to dismiss this area right here, even if we were to dismiss it, I wouldn't, but even if we did, this area alone on the bottom right to me, screams intelligently made. Right down there. So now, we're going to get to the larger pan that I put together from this one and this one. So now this is really sprawled out. We can have a closer look. I'm going to go from left to right. Now, folks, this is cool. You normally don't get to see it in this view, right? Looks like you got roadways. Looks like you got structures right here. Just crazy things. Go right here in the middle. And again, we're looking at the smallest detail. Again, don't look at the photo. Look into it. You want to look at all of this area right here. Notice the different heights and different sizes of these objects right here. Look at this one. Again, we're 250 miles off of the Martian surface. So it's hard to tell if you're looking at one thing right here where this arrow is or multiple things. There might be like four or five large structures, but because you're so far away, you don't see the detail. What does it do? It looks like one big object. And it may not be that at all. Keep going. This area right here, like I said. This is cool down here. Just these areas right here. Just have a look. And we're trying to get through, again, the manipulation. So you have spots that are vague, really vague, and then some of them not so bad. They're, they're pretty good. Objects right down here. 
Again, this little area right here, all the lighter whiter areas right down there. This is where it gets really neat. It's almost like because it's closest to the camera that you get a lot more objects and it seems to be a lot clearer. This area right here alone. I'm not sure if this is a super large structure or what this thing is. Let's get a little straighter. But you get what I'm saying? Right here. This to me is not natural, 100%. And you can see the little things near it, all in the bottom. Take note of all of these little, what looks like rectangular pieces and squares and all that other good stuff. Check that stuff out, folks. What are the chances of that? Of it being natural, that is. And again, we can look back through here, all in the background, right there. I'm going to back up just a little bit. Get rid of the lines. Folks, pause it right here. Have a better look. Now we're going to bounce it over to the left. Back out, give you the whole picture right there and just have another look. So let's go back right here. Here's the original of this one, the Nilla Sirtis Amenza. We have this one, Nilly Fosse, and we have this one right here. Fully enhanced. Now pause it here. This one right here, completely enhanced. This one, enhanced. And again, the full pan. There you go, folks. Folks, through Twitter, I get like JPL and NASA feeds and stuff like that when something new comes around. This was interesting to me. The second I saw that video and played it, I went, whoa, something's in here, and they're totally washing it out. I've got to jump in this. So I took, like I said, two of those areas, or almost three of the areas, enhanced them, put them together to make an even larger pan, and it just blew my mind. Again, in my opinion, these are 100% intelligently made structures and his areas where it looks super congested on the double panorama I put together you can see that sprawled out that to me is awesome that's something they don't want us to see the question is why they think that we're going to be freaked out like we still live in the 1920s I just don't get it folks drop your comments as always I want to hear what you got to say do you see nothing but natural terrain do you see a bunch of structures something tells me you're going to see non-natural intelligently made structures Please like and share the video, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, we're still busy at work, but we're going to try to get more and more of these videos out for you. Stay tuned, and we'll see you soon. Peace.